That's one small step for man. In today's dollars, it costs nearly $140 billion to put a man on the moon. One giant leap for mankind. It was the culmination of the Cold War space race. 30 private teams from 16 countries. Now another space race is nearing its end. The $30 million Google Lunar X Prize. Teams have to put a rover on the moon, move it 500 meters in any direction, and feed back high-definition video from the lunar surface. The teams must be almost entirely privately funded, and they have until December 31st, 2017. Two teams lead the way towards that deadline, an American team, Moon Express, and the Israeli team, Space IL. Israel is the startup nation. So we are the startup nation must continue to be leading in all these branch of technologies. Space IL was the first team to book their launch to the moon sometime next year. Why is all of this so necessary? We visit Space IL at Israel Aerospace Industries, putting on jackets, and hats to enter the clean room. This is where satellites are built, and this is where Space IL will construct their spacecraft. First prize is $20 million, and yet it costs much more than $20 million to get to the moon. Why do this? Well, of course not for the price. There are many reasons why to be there. We, as an Israeli team, we would like to put Israel, Israel technology on the moon next to the Russian, the Americans, and China. So we believe that by itself is a great achievement. CEO Eran Privman remembers watching man first step on the moon. He was just a little boy. It was a moment of inspiration that he uses to this day at Space IL. If we accomplish it, then we definitely open a new era for a commercial travel to either the moon or to Mars or to elsewhere. Five, four, three, two, one. Zero. That would have sounded like science fiction a few years ago, and that may be the real mission of the Google Lunar X Prize, to redefine what's possible. Orrin Lieberman, CNN, Central Israel.